backwards. Oh, oh, that was close. <laughs> what was that? What's the Jamie? Voice? Jamie was Jamie wasn't saying Jamie was saying bollocks. He definitely was saying bollocks. Did you say bollocks, <laughs> Jamie? As you can see by the two or three okay. ugly books on the screen, I'm back. And so's Deal and so's JP. Hello. Um, so what am I doing? Well, I think you've all seen the thumbnail, so I'm gonna be doing the, the galaxies and planets again tonight. And uh, for Billy, that's how I got the thumbnail up, because I've done it before. Right, uh, I'll stick you guys in the background and I'll um, start on. You can start reading out who's in and what's going on in the chat. It's probably a wise idea to put us in the background. Hello, we've we got various loons, sir. Various loons. We have the ever lovely Mr. Billy Butt, the even lovely our Jeff, the, the, the very much flaming Nick, uh, Mick Flanagan, Phil Butler. Oh, Fingers is in. Uh, Wayne of the Big Feeties. And obviously Wayne of the Little Feeties. Um, we have Stays! Uh, Christina Michael, Stays. how are you? And Gutan Daly's in. Um, I'm sure there's a few others we've missed. Oh, Herb's in too. Should I go with that one? I reckon so. That's yeah, the one. Yeah, right. that one. I'll Duck. go with that one. Duck, see how it goes. Did you see that? He's a Fanta drinker. He is. He is. Definitely. You see it in the background, yeah. So so we should establish at some point what tonight's word is. Um, what was tonight's word? Um, the word for tonight. I did see Joy last week. You did. Dead. Joy's not in yet. Okay. Um, I think, um, I think, I think colour. Colour, okay. Color. I think colour. I think colour. We've got a, a new guest in tonight, Wayne Fennell. I, oh. I think it should be Super Chat. No. <laughs> yes, no. No, no. I can, no. I can live with that. <laughs> right, guys, so, what I'm doing tonight... Sober. <laughs> I've got a, a piece of ash on the lathe. Around about 12 inch diameter. It had a bit of a crack, so I've ripped that off. Uh, around about um, two inches thick. It's going to be a fairly plain bowl, and on the top, I'm going to be doing some colouring just because I can. Oh, I hell. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, have to, you'll, have to, you'll have to count up how many times I say colour. Um, oh, hell. Just so, I, just, so I, just so I can catch up when I go in the house. Two so far. Two. Right. David the is burning up. at just over a thousand. So I'll just Miss, get it rounded off first. Miss T's in. How are you, Miss T? Hey, good day. Joy says you should leave her out of it. That's what she said last week. Yes. Used to have a double drink if you say joyful to colour. <laughs> Just saying like. What about if you can think of a song? What with joy and colour and both the same what and both the same song? Oh no no. Uh, Just joy. Just joy. No no. no. Uh, okay. Whatever. We, we, the word. We thought of one. When we used to sing on when we were at school. All right. Go on. Oh, hell no. I'm not singing it. <laughs> James well, Cassidy's in. We could include bands in that that have Joy Division. Joy Division. There we are. You should have a long power and call it Joystick. Joy to the fishies in the deep blue sea, says Doug. Joy to the world, Billy Burt said. That's a song. Yep. There we go. There must be lots of drinks. Hello, Andy Stace. When yes, it's a number of drinks going on. So it's two drinks when we say the word joy, and it's one drink when we say the word color. I make it. You've got to drink twelve to catch up. Gotta make I mean, it doesn't matter how good this is. The wind turns in. We'll all be thinking, "Oh, it's awesome wind."
So it looks like Starlink launches can is is going to be postponed. Oh no, they moved it back to eight. They moved it back now to eight thirty. Right, so I'm going to start shaping this now. I've got the bottom flattened off. I'll just put a, a small dip in the bottom here, just so I know where the foot is going to be. Or is it color? Oh no, color and the joy. That was a Queen song, wasn't it? Flat bottom bowls. Huh? That was a Queen song, wasn't it? Flat bottom bowls. Fat bottomed bowls, it was, I thought. Oh, Glenn Senior's in. Hello, Mr. Glenn. Good evening, Glenn. Hello, Glenn. Uh, Steve says, Wayne! No, smoke. it doesn't seem right. No, no, it's uh, it's a bit warm. Um, just for Glenn, the word for tonight is colour. Three. Is it? Yeah, the word for the, I'm just letting Glenn know just so he knows when to have a drink. Rub a dub dub. Send the chat. Even rub a dub. Make a flame in says, How do Glenn of Gets? He means grits. Um, Mr. Senior. Mr. Senior responded to that particular interchange with the word slurp. <laughs> <laughs> Ian in the shed says colour. Ian in the shed is asking, are you making galaxies win? Yes, I'm making galaxies. Not very much chocolate though. I'm paraphrasing Ian in the shed here says he foresees lots of sore heads in the morning. Joy says, Belly, everyone, oh, I missed that, I jumped a bit there. Belly, everyone gets happy at springtime. Why? Because everything's coming up green. Circular wood by Keith says, Hi, guys and girls. Nick Mr. Uh, said, Dale, you missed his comment earlier. I interrupted you. Which was that one? I don't know. I interrupted you. Good Lord. I missed it. Was that the one about, uh, uh Sorry, Nick. Must admit, it's kind of scrolled off the top of the screen. And I have sorry taken up a slightly recumbent position. I was what? I said, sorry, you <laughs> were talking while I was interrupting. What? Will I turn us in? How you doing, Scott? Evening, Scott. Evening, Scott. Uh, Ian and Seth said, I hear JT in the background. Who is the other mysterious person? That would be Wayne. That would be Wayne. <laughs> Throwing his voice. He lives in Scotland now. He's, this, I'm, I, I'm nearly him practicing the Scottish accent. Wavy Woodshed's in. Good evening, Wavy. Uh, Ruben's in. Steve Hackett's in. Hey, Steve. So, Steve. the Flaming Turner is asking, so what colour are you putting in maybe the colour black and the colour blue with a bit of colour white, maybe? When? <laughs> Ask Nick. Yeah, and I think there's going to be the colour green, the colour red, and also the colour gold as well. Oh, hell. Seven. I think I should have bought more wine when I was down the garage. Definitely. Baz is in. Um, Dory. 
Dory Sexism. Even Dory. Joy yeah. says she needs a soda. Caffeine. She must stay awake. What's well, that for, an hour? Mm. Chris Parker, Wood Tunnels in. Evening, Wayne. Evening, Chris, mate. How's it going? Graham Taylor's in. Evening, Graham. Oh, a snooker player. Yeah, I think so. You can see why a snooker player would be interested in Wood Tunnel, wouldn't you? Yeah. I was in a long queue. How are we all this fine evening, ass young Baza? Well. Get one of them Halloween jigs. It's a lot of plans, Snooker. Boom, boom. I'm here all week. Try the view. Right. In case people are wondering what this is, I haven't seen one before. This is the Speed Sizer, developed by Chris Fisher, the Blind Wood Turner. In the chat, we will be mostly having 55 people watching. My life. But only 15 thumbs, boys and girls. And anything else we missed, please, 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 hit that thumbs up. Yeah, I'll find the pencil. There we go. I've got one in the end. Have you? I Cheers, JP. Pass it to him, JP. All right, there you go. Pass it through. Cheers. Just got it. Are <laughs> you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> All I could hear was no air. <laughs> Mark's in. Um, oh, I've lost me. Mark's in. Nathan's in. Uh, Robert Lassie's in. Evening, Robert. Evening, Nathan. What kind of uh, paints will be using, young Mr. Wayne? I will be using ebonizing lacquer from Chester. <laughs> and I'll be using Jules Sonia's iridescent colors. So hey! Eight. Eight. And I may well be using, for coloring in the planets, just some ordinary acrylic colors. Oh, hell, I'm going to have to open another beer. Oh, Wayne's going to be three sheets to the wind. He usually is. He'll be, be, be looking right tasty in the morning. Um, he does say, however, Mr. Senior does offer the big bowl of splitting big time. Oh. Should we send up a tub of, uh, of CA glue, perhaps? Um, um, Flaming Tunnel says, Wayne, is there color you're not using tonight? As the other colors might get jealous. <gasps> oh, I'm not mentioning them. I've hidden all the other colors away so they don't know. Oh, hell. Oh, Eleven. Eleven. Thank you, sir. Next, I'll send you the message for God. Uh, what have we got? Mountain View, Turnington. Who I seem to think. Am I right in saying it's called Chris? Yeah, I'm not sure. Or have I it's completely got the wrong... He's a mountain man. You would hope that you would hope for a significant beard and a check shirt. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? You would. I actually did a color turning. Yeah. It will be up next week. Said Billy. Lord. Billy's been cold. Oh, nice. I, mean, I think Doug's doing coloring this week as well. Mm -hmm. I 
It's not bad, to be fair. It's not bad, to be fair. Joy says, Nick, your comments were disabled on the replay of your uh, your replay of your live today. I couldn't leave a comment about how pretty the ball was. Uh, Nick says, I might give the kids some colours to colour their new books that they have to colour in. Oh, Lord. There's that small drill again, says James. Chris Cox says, Evening, Wayne, and everyone. Sorry I'm late. My wife dragged me out for a six-mile hike. Good Lord. Mrs. Kirkwood has attempted to climb the stairs with things in her hands. This is a, a momentous occasion. This is the first time she's attempted this since she had a little tumble a few weeks ago. All right. How you doing? You all right? Various, various exclamations of, of, of discomfort. Oh, hello. We're back again. Did you mean to do that, Wayne? What? Bring us oh. back. What's up there? I don't know what happened there. There we go. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put some... Where am I? Which camera? Still a little sand and sailor on there. Woo! Chestnut. Why am I being dubbed Mr. Robot? Joy, is my audio going? I think the sound went a bit iffy just before. What? <laughs> no sign of Jeff cakes, James says. No, no, no. It's got some light no. in this. It does, doesn't it? It'd be a shame the colour of the top. There's a little bit of a shadow on that from the what I think is reflection. One to look at later. That camera's just picking up a tiny shadow from somewhere. I don't know where. The darkness. Oh, overhead. Yeah. Well, that's a very impressive noise. I hope that yeah. was the wood. It was. <laughs> Piece of ash just had a brain fart. Pop. Pop. Um, Nick the Flaming Tunnel says, I don't think the word colour should have been the drinking game word. As there is only a few colours in here and there. Maybe a few colourful faces in the morning. The only one, it'd, be, it'd be green. Yeah. Oh, what's going on here now? Right, and now I'm going to get it a different thing so I can show you the label. There we go, Yorkshire grit. <clears throat> what is it? It's is Yorkshire it? grit. Just in case anybody didn't hear, it's Yorkshire grit. Okay, got you. It's got, it's got grit. a beautiful, a beautiful pasty colour to it. Grit, you say? From Yorkshire, grit. you say? From Yorkshire. That's the grit of the future, that is. The grit of the next generation. <laughs> Does need a there's the odd moment it does does need a Hovis it does need a Hovis soundtrack every now and again, I feel. <laughs> Just do it. Grit. Made by the inimitable Mr. Senior. Who is in the chat? Grit every oh, little else. Slow slowly but surely getting getting more hammered, I hope. What colour is the grit, Wayne? It's a pasty brown. That's the grit price. David Adamson says he love me some Yorkshire grit. Oh, I'm, I'm nearly out. 
<laughs> Emma, the tiny tunnels in. Oh, good evening, Emma. How are you? Hello, Emma. Is this you just getting up to go to work? Captain Cuz is in. Assuming the beard's grown back in. Hello, Cuz. The beard hasn't grown back in. It's still Corporal Cuz. Fingers are saying, them colours will all will be cool, Billy. Looking forward to seeing it. Meaning Billy's uh, colouring uh, video later on. Not later on tonight. No, I think it's soon. Coming soon. Mm -hmm. So a small screen near you. Uh, Steve Robbins is in the chat. Even uh, Steve. Mr. Martin at Woody's Creations. Uh, 61 watching win. Evening, Martin. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Phil's in. Evening, Phil. Cuz can't stay long. He uh, he he has to call everyone up and and try to sell them uh, uh, PPI. I think. <laughs> Or have I got the wrong end of the stick? Because again, you've got the wrong end of the stick. Oh, my bad. I have reason to believe you were in a turning accident last week. He says, "Cause." <laughs> <laughs> you may have injured your fingers. Oh. <laughs> Do you have a branch in Ireland, cause? Uh, Nick, the Flaming Tunnel says, "Think Wayne will will be like a bit of color, and a bit oh, sorry, a bit of color here and a bit of color there. Oh, and a bit of color might need a bit more color. <laughs> so if I so if I understand you right, Nick, what you're saying is you want Wayne to color the color just in case the color he's coloring doesn't color the same way as he thought the coloring would. Would that be fair? I mean, it is obviously all about color. He's got about a bit of color in, a bit of color out, a bit of color in. He's going to check it all about." I mean, you just knew that was coming, wasn't it? At this point, we have to do the the the, the Yorkie oh, gritty. <laughs> have you put a link in for the t-shirts yet, JP? Sorry, I see. Have you put a link in for the t-shirts yet? Oh, uh, yeah. Get a mug. Get the mug too. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'll have to, GP, you'll have to say something in the chat so I can meet your moderator. All right. Uh, something. From here, when that looks like it's got a splendid crack through the middle of it. No, that bit just there. Yeah. Yeah. It isn't. It's from okay. here, I'm saying that, though. JP said something in the chat. <laughs> it doesn't come up yet. Oh, there we go. Andy, Bes uh, Andy Heal, Lord of the Vikings, has arrived in the chat. The... Andy, having watched your awesome video earlier on today, I think you should do a full size one of them. And the same sort of bone so, shaker style. There we go, everybody. There's the, uh, there's the, oh yeah, swag everyone's been after. Oh, I don't know if you saw it there, but I'm using um, Food Safe Wax from Wayne of the Big Feet. Ooh. You're up to, you're wobbling between 69 and 70 now watching Wayne. My God. Yeah, better start doing it properly now. Yeah. Yeah. Start start putting the shares out, guys. Let's see if we can get some more in. Oh, you don't want much, do you? John PBH. Evening, John. And he's inevitably being distracted. That'll 
be John, one, one why are you wearing one. marigolds? Oh, there's this. Come on. Uh, come on, you, you're going to have to explain that one, Phil. Because so, you're going to have to do better than that. You're simply asking Andy how his little man's doing. Might may, may, may raise conversations. Right, so when you're putting the bowl back onto the lathe, hold it in the centre. And always tighten around all of the chugging points. You recently been in a wood turning advert. We'll buy your video off you and put it on TikTok. <laughs> My mind's not filthy. I'm merely repeating what other people think. Oh. Always check to see that your tool rest is going to miss, which I didn't do there. There you go. Nice amateur mistake for tonight. <laughs> Blended. You lost two viewers because of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Andy C's in the chat. Hi, Wayne. Mr. Beginning, what wood is it you're using? I'm using ash. It's a very light colour. You better explain, Andy, about the uh, the colour. Yeah, Andy, the drinking game for tonight is the word colour. Is my mic still going robotic, Nick? Not to me, it isn't. And not to me, it isn't either. Yeah. Cars laughing my ass off. I'll probably wake up anyway, Wayne. It's not like I get much sleep, which is why I try to get early nights as much as possible. Andy says, oh good, drinking game. I have a full mug of tea beside me. Oh, hey. Is it like hog's back tea or is it just like normal Indian tea? Or is it tea tea? Indian tea. HB the spoke says Dr. Pepper and rum. Good old Tetley's from Torkshire. Says John. Right, so what rum, gonna... Dr. Pepper, rum. For those of you who have already joined the Finger Club, and for those of you who don't want to join the Finger Club, don't put your fingers anywhere near the sharp edge while the lid is spinning. Alternatively, you can take the sharp edge off. Is there anyone or, that advice is particularly relevant for? Or put your knuckles there instead. What was Sonic going to do with that? Right. Now I'm going to sand this again. Oh, we're blowing past. I'll be taking this one down to... He's, he's messing with our sales, Dale. We want to sell t-shirts, you know. He does, yeah. Lynn's <laughs> yeah. back with more beer. You've missed the Yorkshire Good man. Oh, we're gonna do, you missed the Yorkshire girl thing. We'll do another one in a minute. Yeah.
Apparently Andy doesn't like Coke. Billy Bart says, don't mix alcohol with Dr. Pepper. That's sacrilege. Ooh. Them's fighting words. Coke is Dr. Pepper in Texas. They call everything Coke. Yeah. I thought Dr. Pepper was only drunk, drunk by Texan scrollers. No, I think they call everything. Everything Coke in Texas is on there, I could be wrong. Bob Crawford uh, says hello. Yeah, you got there before I did. Slightly before. Slightly. It's all it takes, young man. No. Yeah. You're done. So our uh, Joy says, I wouldn't drink Coke if you paid me. Uh, Cuz says, I've never been a fan of Coke either. And it gets right up my nose. I say, young Cuz. <laughs> I, I feel that may have been a drug reference. Um, the Flaming Turner. Glenn, you might need to run and get a bit more, bit of color tonight as Wayne is putting some color on the bowl. Well, be, will be once I finish the uh, oh, there it is. Something's here. Joy says, if you are uh, in order to haul the stuff, you have to have a hazma, hazardous material certification. Uh, yes, Scott, I will, mate. That's pretty much covered that. Oh, no, the top there. Doug says he needs spray sealer. I'll just give that a quick wipe off. See if hanging about. And then just get it knocked back with, um, what call it, with an orange uh, Webrax Scotch Bright type of pad. The orange one has got an equivalent grit of around about 1200. Would that be in the Yorkshire Grip Microfine range? In terms uh, of in terms of grit, that'd that be at the the start of the microfine range. The microfine tends to start at around about a thousand, and once it's finished and done and rubbed in properly, you're probably looking at over two thousand. And Mr. Ruben says bye. Bye, Ruben. See ya. Right now, I'm going to cover this with. Actually, I don't think it's him. I think it's Cuz. I think I'm responding to Cuz going away. There's a slight disconnect between StreamYard and the live chat. So, Mr. Ruben's still here. Young Cuz is going back to work. Okay. Right. Have a nice one, Okay. Action with chestnut. Ebonizing lacquer. Yeah. Because I've got it. Because you're worth it. And I haven't got any black gloss paint at the moment. I can send you a link from Mob that sell it by the by the packs of the six and twelve for pretty cheap. I bought a load of that Simon stuff the other day. That looks like a record from here. Just saying. Right. Now what I'll do now is I'll put in my Paul, Paul Kavanagh says, no lathes were, paint, were painted in the making of this bowl. <laughs> John PBH says he just got his chestnut evanizing lacquer from all of us today. 
And I'm just going to pop in my hot air gun into the. You should gym. drop the link back in again, young JP. What for the uh, the t-shirt? For the t-shirts. Make that turn down fairly low, and switch on the hot air gun. Yeah. There's the uh, there's uh, the oh, yeah. swag t-shirt. Young Joy is uh, saying, "You spin me you round know. like a uh, you spin me right round now, baby, right now." Now, I feel that's um, I've not done that justice. It's around about this time. I could do some. Do with some tweezers that Dale's got. Why, you get a bit of fluff on the wheel? Uh, yeah, I didn't clean out the hot air gun before I switched it on, and I've just blown dust all over the piece. I bought a bunch of um, Rollison ones for six quid the other day. I think about three packs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's dry. I've got, I've got, I've got a, a, any, I've got an easy fix for that. What's that? Super chat. Super chats. You think super chats will help? Yeah. Wayne, you should, you should blow stuff out of the higher gun more often. You've hit seventy watching, mate. Oh, good. I did Clearly, hear it about. That is clearly what people want to see. Uh, JP says, practice piece. <laughs> JP should know by now all of the pieces I do on the Wednesday are practice pieces. You're going to take all of that yes, off, where you're just going to knock it back. Just trying to knock back the dust as it's just sitting on the top. And that seems to have done that quite nicely. Glenn, no one else could hear JP. What are you talking about? I think we're hearing things. Cheers, JP. Right, I'm going to change camera now. Where are we? I'm getting ready to write down another one on camera am i still on the camera where did you guys go oh here you are. Here we are right that's got that nicely so what we're going to do now is i have got a balloon and I've got some Joe Sonia iridescent paints. Um, I've just totally cocked this up, by the way. Young Glenn Senior says, got to be JP. Right, I'm putting this back on the lathe and I'm starting the top again because I've cocked it up. This, the process that I didn't go through. Um, so, oh, thanks, Glenn. Much appreciated. So the process I didn't go through. Um, so I wouldn't, I'll not be able to get the planets in place. So I'm going to very quickly take this off. Uh, young Jen's in the chat. Hi, Jen. Hi, uh. Just quickly get that sanded again. It will not take long. Young uh, Mac Fagan says you forgot the masking tape, Wayne. 
<laughs> Thanks, Mick. <laughs> You might have said that earlier before I really painted the thing. Paul oh, Kavanagh asked, did I see Greds and some people drop to Gret Club? Where? Young Debbie Beardo's in the chat. Yes, Paul. Um, hang on. I'll switch the stand and uh, extract the rock a second. Right. Right, as you can see in mine, there's a grid in mine. And what that is, is a grit saver. So um, you place it on top of the grit, because a lot of the time what people do, they forget to put the lid back on. They forget to put the lid back on, um, knock it over. Nine times out of ten, it's going to land down, and you waste quite a lot of grit. With this grid, you can just take the grid out, clean the grid off, put it back in, and job sorted. Steve Trudell used to make them. I don't think he's making them anymore, so they are very limited to get. A young Mr. Rubin offers five euros for the turn master. Thank you, Rubin. Terry Sykes is in the chat. Is it just one coat of ebonizing lacquer? I tend just to use one coat of ebonizing lacquer. You can use two if you wish. Sorry, young yeah, David, I must have missed you coming oh, in. It's got lid on it. Hello, Terry. I know, I know if you to get you going on David things, because I'm not clumsy. Boom, boom. Young, young, oh, so I was going to say young, uh, making a dreadful assumption. Killing My Time is in the chat. Good evening, Killing My Time. Killing My Time. Wait till it's time. You're in your workshop, right, JP? Mm -hmm. You're in your workshop right now, right? Yeah. Is it possible fumes submitting from somewhere that is affecting you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I still haven't cleaned up that walnut sawdust, so maybe... Maybe a spot of maybe mess. Maybe it could be that. Oh, walnut sawdust, yeah. Yeah, yeah it could be. Drinking game oh, in your workshop consists of either crimson, crimson uh, stains or five litres of mess. Yeah, yeah five litres of mess. That's actually in the... Uh, in the other room. That's away from me at the moment. We need to do a kickstart and get you apart, mate. So that's the uh, sand and seal the back one again. Let's see if I can do this right this time. Doug says he needs that sanding sealer. Joy saying, stand back, give him some room. Give him some air. Right. Here we go. I think I'll probably need to get some labels like you use, deal. Yeah. Not very sticky. I'll send you a link to the, the, the cheap ones I use and you just cut the shapes you want out of them. Now, this is a good idea. I never thought about doing it like this. Masking, mate. That's why I use the blue tape. Yeah, doing it, yeah but doing it with like spray paints. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. Spray paint art we was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So the tram lines on the V for Vendetta, they were done using spray paints and, and uh, taping up. Cool. Uh, yeah, so was the alien. Uh, the alien was done by printing the pattern out and then and then sticking it to it. So you could you could definitely do that. But you'd want you'd you'd want to buy them round or square or different shapes, Wayne, so you could you could just consume them, right? Yeah. Or, Rather than having to cut could, them out. Yeah, or you could just buy scissors. Well, well, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. On printer labels and, and cut them out. Right, so we'll try again with the ebonizing lacquer. Bum, 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 bum. I've got to put my thing under to protect the, the bedways. If you're doing any masking, folks, try and spray away from the from the edge of the the tape, so it's spraying away from you. However, in this case, the round. So good luck with that. <laughs> and always make sure you've got good ventilation in your workshop, and don't, for God's sake, do it in a workshop that's connected to the house. Again, <laughs> a real ill ninety nines in the chat. Good evening, real ill. Don't ask him how he knows that. Right, so this time I will turn on the hot air. Now. We used to have real ale uh, nights down where I live. They don't do it anymore. Well, they do, but not um, not in the pub I used to go to. I think I showed people the jig for the um, the hot air gun. I think you did it the previous week, but I don't think it hurts to show yeah. again. Oh, you've got the you, you've got the same hot air gun as me. Yeah, basically what I've done, I've drilled a hole in the piece of plywood so the tool post fits through it. That's a good idea. The rest fits through it. I've just cut out a piece so the trigger mechanism for the hot air can go through, and I've got a couple of bits of plywood which just slot through there so it sits nice and steady. And then you turn your lid on at a very low speed. Stick the hot air gun on. And there we go. Job is done. Good luck. A minute, that'll be dry. And then we can get on and start putting some galaxies in there. 73 watching. Very good. Yeah. 74 watching. Yeah, it's been up at 75, Joy reckons. Jerry's asking, is that air going heavy? <laughs> no, I'm just lazy. <laughs> yes. It's the mule near. He's got to be worthy to pick it up. It's that heavy. There. Young Joy says, do, 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 75 peeps. There we go. Right. And like I was going to do before. Find me bloody pants now. I have got a red, and you don't need a hell of a lot when you're doing this. In fact, you need very little. One of us is doing an impression of Darth Vader. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's, uh, it's uh, Skywalker over here. <laughs> Joy's asking, where are the colors? But she spelt it wrong, so I wouldn't listen to her. 
She spelled with the American way. No, no, she just spelled it wrong. So relevant if it's American or not. Got to put a little bit of you in it, Joy. Uh, Debbie says, yes, I'm glad I got it. It's a big upgrade from the old Clark 737 slash new tool 37. Oh, yes. So I've had the red. The... Must be 10 to 9, wouldn't we? In? <laughs> the gold on there. I'll probably, I'm going to be doing more than three galaxies on this just because I can. Right, so I've got my bloom, and all I'm going to do is place it on top of the paint, twist it, and pull it across. Like that. Is this similar to the technique? Um, oh, heck, I've forgotten the guy from up in the north of Scotland that does this. Oh, Gary. hell. Sorry? Gary. Gary. Gary Law. He tends to use, um, when he's doing these cosmic stuff, cosmic mm. clouds and things, he tends to use an yes. airbrush. Oh, so he does. You're absolutely right. Oh, that was a hell of an amount. That was. I'll have to get rid of some of that. Debbie, Debbie. Do you use different balloons for different colours? Or is that a stupid question? No, I just give them a wipe. Because they are water-based paint, so it doesn't really make any difference. Just give them a wipe. You can even mix the, the colours in and everything with, with each other. That doesn't really make any difference either. Right, so that's the the galaxies done. I'll just give them a quick go over with the, the hot air gun. Andy C is asking, can you put Joe Sonia paints through an airbrush? Yeah, you'd have to um, loosen them off a hell of a lot though, so it may well lo lose a lot of the effect. Joy suggesting that her spelling of the word colour is correct. Oh, we're we'll pop oh, back, back on the screen again. We're all back oh. on the screen again. Hello. 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 Ah, there we go. <laughs> I've lost my thread there. Um, Phil Butler is asking, why did he use balloons? Just to get the effect, Phil. That's all. It's just to get that twisted effect in the paint. That's the only reason I used blues. I have used uh, bubble wrap in the past. I've used vinyl gloves. I've used cling film. Um, I even did one the other week just using fingerprints. But someone's had a word with him about all of that, and now he's no, he doesn't do. It. <laughs> um. What was I going to say? Um, Glenn says, can you use a flow medium for airbrushing? Yes, you can. In fact, you're better off using a flow medium than using water. You can thin the paints down with water because they are just acrylic paints, yet they can be thinned with water. If you use a flow medium, the way the flow medium works, it is, it's that it, it will thin the paint down, but you don't lose any of the strength of colour. Andy suggesting that top right is the jumping frog, which has to be followed by Albuquerque. Um, um, James Cassidy says, I've tried Joe Sonia paints in the airbrush in Wayne's Ray. You have to dilute it a lot, and it really does not, uh, and it really does not work, work really. Uh, Joy says, uh, in an American language, uh, colors are pretty win. Um, 
which and really ill 99 bubble wrap does a good spiraling effect uh, yeah. Paul Kavanagh, Paul Kavanagh, uh, I feel is coming down in the side of Camp U, which is uh, I'm afraid American spelling of color is wrong. Anything American is wrong. They threw tea in the ocean and claimed it was a party. They lost their minds in the air. <laughs> threw anything in the tea. My word, Paul. <laughs> same intrinsic colors white stain, and this is, and I'm using this on a just on a brush but the brush will not be touching the piece. I'm going to flick the stain on just to get some star effects. That's a good idea. Someone didn't come down the Thames on a biscuit. There That's go. a very good one-liner. I like that. Right, I'll give that another quick dry. And what we are going to do now is take off, if I can, the planets. This one. James Cassidy. Joy says, Paul K, each to their own. Jen, Jen says, wow. Uh, James Cassidy says, even if I use a flow medium, you have to really, th you have to really thin it, and it's inclined to jam the airbrush up occasionally. Yeah. Uh, John PBH says. John PBH says, yet another use of white, not just for pastel colours. Uh, Andy Bespoke says, you can flick paint different colours, JP, different worlds, different colours. He knows that because he's an artist. Yeah. 73 watching, sir. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> Dennis Beamish says, Hi, Wayne. Late arriving, but we'll catch up later. Regards, Dennis. Cheers, Dennis. Nice to see you in. I what play, Dennis. Now, what I've got here, these are just... Um, Jane picked these up. For me i don't know where from but they are it's like a small spray gun acrylic paint but i'm not using the the spray gun uh, i am just going to be using a foam brush just to fill in the planets this is where my shaky hands come in And seeing as how I've got sand and sailor on there, the paint won't soak into the wood. Does it pull on top of the... Yes, it does in in places. So I'm just going to give that a very gentle hit with a hot air gun again. Scoot to the top. Just to get that quickly dry. Ian from the shed says it looks very cool. Um, Joy says, color or color, the characteristic of visual perception is described through ca color characters with names such as red, orange, yellow, green, blue, or purple. And we can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Um, James Cassidy says, yet, yep, John tried Martin's pastel color techniques using the white on top of the intrinsic paints, did not really like the end product. Uh, I've, done, I've done use the, the white with the intrinsic colors um in an airbrush and i find the effect you get out of that is very good i've lost count now about 19 drinks we're supposed to have had when i just think you should be aware of that i think there's at least a bottle and a half in this particular video 
Um, we then have Andy. Got the blue light Turner says, so that's our Remy paint and camouflage on tanks. Yep. I tell you, we had a, a staff sergeant at the, the last place I was at before I left the army. The um, <clears throat> the paint that you used to get for painting the, the army wagons and everything was it was called IR paint because it was resistant to infrared lights and things. Except our staff sergeant used to water it down with petrol. <laughs> <laughs> There's an intriguing event waiting to happen. God, he was a numpty. The uh, chat's various, various highs in the world, but Steve Coombs is in the chat. Evening, Steve. Uh, young Evening. Andy Heal says that uh, JP, he is a young in his land. To, he has a 10 month old his land to feed himself. Debbie tells us that he got her, she gets, sorry, I got my little squatty bottle from Little. Oh, no. That might have been where Jane got these ones from. That's not going on there very well on that particular one. Let's see if I've got something else I can use. Uh, Phil Buller says, so where do you stand in mum or mom then, Joy? I feel that's opening up a can of worms beyond the colour colour. Right, on what was that? Mum or mom? Mum or mom? Neither, it's mum. Ah, of course. Spoken like a true northerner. What was I going to say? Uh, I gave up on how many drinks I'm supposed to consume. Just goes to finish the bottle and call it good. I feel that's an excellent I stopped, choice. I stopped, count <laughs> I stopped counting at 50. I'm going to be... James. I'm supposed to be laying sandstone again. Are you? How's your back? The only thing you're going to be laying is on your on your back. Are they big sandstones? No, they're all different sizes. Oh, it's so just, just like a patio kit. Yeah, it's, no, it's not a kit. No, this is just a load of old sandstone that uh, Jane bought or somebody. It's all different thicknesses and sizes and everything. I'm having a bloody nightmare. Oh. Um, in the chat, we have Andy C says. Is that after you painted the wheel nuts red for PRI inspections? Um, it all be, that all depended on which regiment you were with and whether they did stupid ass things like that. Uh, James Cassidy asks. Got drunk. That's, that's looking not too bad. Right, let's clear these paints away. I'll get it back on the lead. Dennis Klein's in the chat. Good evening, Dennis. The only thing my dad ever done in the army was got drunk. Was he good at it? Funnily he, he perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's been said quite a lot. In fact, it, it has been said a hell of a lot. British Army. The fittest alcoholics in the world. <laughs> yeah, um, I've, I've out heard that. Out in the chat, Wayne the big Wayne the big Wayne of the big feet. He says, "Andy, I've perfected feeding myself, hence the weight." James Cassidy asks, "Dale, did you say you have a supplier for those white stickers?" I do, uh, but it's it's a link in Amazon, so I'll find it and I'll, I'll flick it to Wayne, and he can put it in the in the comments at the end. I think Mr. I've Ruben, got it somewhere, mate. Hang on. Mr. Ruben, yes, but what a basic acrylic could die. Right, um, so I'm not in any of the planets there. So we're just going to go in and do the bowl. Again, it's going to be a fairly small bowl in this. It's purely decorative. Space Snake says, that looks beautiful. And he says, Jacob has perfected eating, to be honest, when he's hungry, the whole road knows it. Um, um, Stace, how's the fingers today? Ask fingers. Joy says, I'm liking the purple, Stace. Dennis Beamish says, Wayne, thanks for passing on Will Hanbury's name. I found him and his work looks great. Thanks for the info. Also, the yeah, info on where, Monday's Live. That's where I get a lot of my inspiration from, is Nick Hanbury, especially when I'm following. 
Uh, Andy C says Q O H. Right, I'm going to post a link into the chat. That's the the laser labels that Dale and I use. Um, Who's that? Debbie Beardle. Yeah, Andy C says Q O H. He oh, was a gentleman that asked about the wheel nuts. Yeah, Queen's Own Hussars. That used to be the uh, that, uh, didn't that used to be the Queen's Royal Irish Hussars? I'm not too sure to tell you the truth. Debbie says, David, thank you. I had a call from the orthopedics. I'm discharged from hospital physio call tomorrow. Excellent. Um, joy, no tires. Uh, Dave McLaren, that's great news, Debbie. The physio was cancelled, but I have a hospital appointment next week. Not sure if I will go to it yet. Um, clearly that's the trunk, Joy, to Oh, I tell uh, you what, I could do this. Okay. Uh, Andy C, yes, that's the one. Yeah. I could do a full club on this and make it a black hole. Oh, good man. Like that. That's well done. Give that man a chap. Tell him from it. Tell him from it. Yeah, my uh, my uncle was in the Queen's Royal Irish Guards. He went to the, uh, the first golf. Says, I... Ted says, you know, all sorry, please. Um, um, choice, the baby, um, Right, I think that's us about done apart from the sanded. Nice. Stella Dalek over here. No, no you're good not down, not mate. I need to move the sensor again for this headset. Let's put it down on the floor. That, that's our accent, dog. It happens. I think having a creepy computer voice might work with my name. How's that? Better. Try mute, see how that works. Try mute. I spoke to you for about three minutes, I accused you of being all sorts while I was a mute. <laughs> <laughs> mostly mostly being French. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's auditioning for the next next BBC series of Hello Hello. Well, well. Hey, one more there. Just going to put on some wipe on cellulose sand and sealer, just so I don't get any around the the outside. Chris Cox says his first landy was a lightweight FFR. Is that a wrestler? No, it's, uh, it's fit for radio. They were 24 volt uh, ignition shielded, so it didn't interfere with radio signals. 
Ah. I was going to say, where's SK Crafts when you need them? No, this is when Land Rovers were Land Rovers. We can take them apart and reassemble them in about five minutes. Yes. About all Steve seems to do, do with his is fix them. Up, upgrade it. Or re-weld bits that have gone all rusty. The Mel says his was a CDR. New Mel CDR. Oh, CDR. Graham Taylor says you could you could you use a stain color under the patch area to give a basic color for each pat planet? Yes, you could. The only thing with um. Well, yeah, in answer to your question, it's a very good question. And yes, you could. Instead of putting the um, sand and sealer on first straight onto the wood, I could have used wood stain, then put the mask and tape on, or um, put the wood stain on, put the sand and sealer on, then use the uh, put the mask and tape on, and then use the ebonizing lacquer over the top. Um, I did something similar uh, when I did... Oh, it was a long time ago. Um, it was, I called it the leaf bowl, and it was coloured leaves uh, with a, a black background. And I, I put various bits of colour all over the plain wood, then covered them over with stencils, sprayed everything black, black and then when I peeled off the stencils, the colour of the leaves was underneath. So, yes, you could do something like that. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't do that. That's copyright. Sure is. Oh. Never mind. Never mind, dear boy. It's fine. Barry is back. Hello, Barry. Hello, Hello Barry. Back, Barry. A number of the chaps have had the landies out. Chris Cox says the only tool you needed was a sledgehammer. That kind of reminds me of my family. And a mug of naffy tea. A one and a half pound ball peen hammer. That was my favourite yeah. tool. That's how, that's could, how my family fixed things. Is with a hammer. Yeah, you, could, you, could, you could skate it off the floor and hit, hit people in the shins with it. It was brilliant. And a 30 mil spanner. 13 mil or a 10 mil. Sorry guys, you should have reminded us to change the the camera, camera, I camera angle is pretty good, mate. That's what we didn't tell you. It's uh, it, it's kind of like the mirror's broken. It's all right. Pass me the hammer. There we are. That's it, guys. Very nice. Very nice, sir. Very nice. I will get some. Um, I'll get some pictures up on the tubes. Sorry, on the tubes on social media tomorrow. Since I've got my new camera now. Uh, change that to that. Let's just see if it shows up any better. Oh, that's not bad. There you go. Very nice. Galaxies and planets for the stars. Right, I will bring the guys in. Oh, Neil's in the background. What's Neil doing in the background? Hiding from you. Oh, right. Did you hear me in the live feed? Or did you just flick me there momentarily? No, Jamie I Jamie said nothing. Jamie said nothing. I didn't hear you. What? Right then. Another. Oh, God, that seems shorter than usual, that one is. Um, That's what she said. Yes, oh, you've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, GP's going on well. Christmas. The whole show, and I never said one. <laughs> uh, so, that's it, guys. If you would, um, share it out. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, give it a like. 
Uh, if you didn't like it, give it a dislike or a thumbs down or whatever it is. Um, I'll be back again on Monday lunchtime. Um, I was going to say doing a quick one, but this one's been fairly quick anyway. Boom, boom. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back again on Monday doing something else. Um, it'll still be turning, obviously, because that's what I do. Um, just a final look at the the bowl. There you go. And I'm going to switch off there, go in, watch the video back, count up how many times people said colour. Mm -hmm. and then get at, at, least, at least 50. Oh, at, least, at least two or three. I'm going to be ill tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you all in. Uh, there was, Thank uh, you so much. Quite a few more in this evening than, than what's usually in. Um, some new people in as well. Nice to see you. I hope you come back. And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Bye for now, guys. Bye. See ya. Bye.